Do not be afraid to be eccentric in your thinking, for every idea currently accepted was once strange. Of all sorts of caution, love caution is maybe the most detrimental to real pleasure. The primary reason of the problem is that in the present environment, the ignorant are confident while the clever are skeptical. To fear love is to dread life, and those who fear life are already three quarters dead. I would never die for my convictions if I was incorrect. A dumb guy's description of what a brilliant man says can never be correct, since he automatically converts what he hears into something he understands. And if there were a god, I doubt he would have such unpleasant vanity as to be upset by people who reject his existence. Three basic but powerful passions have guided my life, the hunger for love, the pursuit for knowledge, and unspeakable sadness for mankind's suffering. It's always a good idea to cast doubt on things you've long taken for granted. Our great democracies continue to believe that a stupid guy is more likely to be honest than a brilliant man, and our politicians exploit this bias by appearing to be even dumber than nature created them. Believing that one's work is very essential is one of the indications of an impending mental breakdown. Fear is the primary root of superstition and one of the primary sources of cruelty. Beating fear is the first step toward knowledge. The most difficult lesson in life is choose which bridge to cross and which to burn. Teaching how to live without assurance, but without being immobilized by indecision, is possibly the most important thing philosophy can still accomplish for people who study it in our day. Collective dread enhances herd instinct and tends to create aggressiveness toward individuals who are not considered as members of the herd. Those who have never experienced the profound closeness and strong companionship of blissful mutual love have lost out on life's best. There are two reasons to read a book, one is to enjoy it, and the other is to brag about it. More than anything else, it is our obsession with goods that hinders us from living freely and nobly.